up guys, Kevin and Duke here. And today we are rediscovering Hanging Rock State Park. Recently, we just bought a whole bunch of new camping equipment. So to test it out, we decided to take a trip down the road to Hanging Rock State Park. One of our favorite things to do when we get to a campsite for the first time is to walk or drive around the campsite and see how everybody else's setup looks. It's always interesting to see what other people do and how they like to enjoy the great outdoors. Because not everybody enjoys the great outdoors the same way, you dig? Some people like us prefer to just sleep in the car, which is something we're all too familiar with. Or some people like to have the whole setup with a camper, trailer, all sorts of things. And some people do the bare minimum and just tie up an inu into a tree and cover it with a tarp and call it a day. But like I said, it's always interesting to see what everybody does see and how they do it camera. differently. Turn to my boy, Dookie, come on. Come on, buddy, you got this. Good boy. Good boy. You got this, buddy. <laughs> Hold on, D. Go I Come on. Come on, I got you, buddy. Taking off the socks and shoes. Go get the dog across this little stream. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, buddy. Come, Come on, on, buddy. You're in. Go, Come boy. Buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Look at her chewing on it. <laughs> Good boy. Hey, careful, careful. So, I don't know where we are, but we're on a rock after I just rescued our buddy Duke. And I've been to Hanging Rock State Park a bunch of times, State Park a bunch of times. And honestly, most people come here, they do the big cliffhanging hike. And I imagine most North Carolinians don't even know that this lake area exists. And there's a beautiful lake and some awesome trails over here that people could completely miss. But if you are from North Carolina, make sure you don't miss this. Right? Right. <laughs> Yeah, it is a little dirty. It's handicap accessible. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Strap in, it's gotta be a bumpy ride, Grandma. Let's see. Um, the campsite is right here. And there's a trail right over on that side. And that trail actually leads to the best view in the park, which most people might end up missing because they go to the Hanging Rock Trail, which the park gets its namesake from, because they want that iconic picture, you know, standing on the edge of the cliff. And they miss out on literally the best view probably in North Carolina but it's awesome being this close to such an amazing trail 1.2 miles 
It's not super hard. It's just about one, two point mile straight up. So it's gonna be a little tough to get in shape or use this to get in shape. <laughs> If you're a native to North Carolina, you're probably already very familiar with Hanging Rock State Park. That is, if you enjoy the great outdoors in any way, shape, or form. But you may not be familiar with all it has to offer, kind of like we were before this trip. We decided that we wanted to do things a little differently. We didn't want to do the usual hikes that everybody does to the overhang or to the waterfalls, and we decided to check out some of the less visited parts of the park. That's like an advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in our tent. We're in our tent, trying out all the new stuff we got. I got the Teton sleeping bag. She's got LL Bean. This won't be her final sleeping bag. And we're gonna, we got the pups over here, trying to encourage them to sleep close to each other. It's a little bit cold out tonight. Um, it's not like ridiculously cold. My toes are finally warming up as we speak. But um, this is our first um, non-KOA camping trip. And so far, so good. <laughs> All right, so we're up bright and early. I'm gonna talk to you guys right now because I'm waiting for the water to boil to make breakfast and the watch pot never boils but um, we were gonna stay and do a couple more hikes today before heading home but since it's so close and it's so damn cold today um, we're just gonna pack up and head home and come back and do the other trails uh, later we you know the other trails are trails that we've done before already anyways so but yeah, the tent held up. It just was really cold. Um, Ryan actually, uh, she got in the car around midnight because <laughs> it was too cold. She didn't have a good sleeping bag yet. But um, I was able to get through the night in the sleeping bag, um, the Teton Sports sleeping bag, the mummy one, um, in the tent till about six o'clock when I just. I couldn't take any more. I, I had to put the dogs in the car with her because I was freezing. I was like, I know they're freezing, even though I had them covered up in her sleeping bag. But it was still a good time. Got to test out everything, and hopefully, this freeze-dried breakfast is good. 
Even when you're this close to home, you can always find a reminder that you, like me, are unremarkable.